Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb as he is often called, was born and raised in Manhattan and lived for a time in New York City at 155 Riverside Drive. It is also here in Manhattan that a unique witness to the fiery end of the Second World War, a statue from Hiroshima that saw the nuclear explosion, now stands. And the statue was facing the blast, and you can see the discolorization on the bottom here. That was from the blast itself. The statue of Shinran Shonin, a Japanese Buddhist monk, was just about two and a half kilometers away from the epicenter of the nuclear blast in Hiroshima. Moved to New York in the 1950s, it now stands as a symbol of world peace. Late 40s, when they started uh, forming the United Nations, Japan wanted to have an offering, a peace offering. And so uh, people in Hiroshima thought it would be very spiritual and meaningful to send a statue of Shinran over to the UN. And that was its original purpose. So for logistic reasons, the UN could not utilize the statue, so uh, the New York Buddhist Church accepted it. Another coincidence places the New York Buddhist Church on Riverside Drive, on the same street Oppenheimer lived on. In New York, we've gotten a lot of interest in the statue because of the release of the movie. Um, and I think it's very poignant because I think it's a counterbalance because uh, areas that have trauma, uh, there, there's a solidarity with, the, with people coming and experiencing the statue. No. Rai adds that there is a certain symbolism in the closeness of the boyhood home of the father of the bomb and one reminder of its deadly impact just blocks away. For Evgeny Maslov in New York, NRI's VOA News.